Good afternoon, Shan at the Easiest Swing. Thanks for joining me on today's video where I'm gonna show you the one exercise we use, the one drill we use at the Easiest Swing to help all our golfers achieve not only better consistency, but more distance. It sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, some of you might know the exercise already. It's called the swinging legs exercise. Those of you who've read Brian's book will know what I'm talking about. And those that have practiced it and possibly even mastered the movement will, I'm sure, vouch for what I'm saying that this drill really is the dog's bollocks. It, uh, it's the best drill I've ever come across all my years as a golf coach. So the swinging legs exercise, I'm just gonna go into a little bit more detail to show you uh, how to do it properly because I rarely see uh, a golfer who can really do the move well, uh, except until they receive some guidance from me, even if they've read the book or not. So the swinging legs, um, always good to, to practice these this drill with a swing caddy, swing right to begin with, no ball, just to be concerned with the movement. So the swinging legs exercise looks something like this. And that's it. It looks pretty crazy, right? Uh, I actually had a client saying uh, that there's no way he would do this on his driving range, otherwise they would take him away in a straight jacket. And really the irony is, folks, that you're already in a straight jacket and this will take you out of your straight jacket. Because as you can see, it creates much more movement. I will go on to explain why it gives you more distance and consistency in a, in a, in a little while, but I just want to take you through the movement itself. So. We're going to stand nice and tall, turn and let the leg swing out. And I find with this big turn, which as you know is essential to our philosophy at the easiest swing, that big turn will get you into a really good position. So balance is key. Let the balance show you where you need to be. Let the balance influence you. Try to, try to get out of your straight jacket thinking, out of your box of where you think your positions should be and let the exercise be your guide. So it will get you into a great position at the top. It will help you to guide the club head backwards, inwards and upwards in the arc that you want, that fits the plane that you want. Just, it's, it's, it's quite hard to believe what it does and how it does it, but just by swinging that leg backwards really gets you into a great backswing position. Gets you into the slot, if you like. And that's where the consistency comes because we're already in the perfect backswing position with the turn. Notice the three deadly don'ts, the loose left arm. Look at my head. I know I'm talking to the camera here, but this drill really demands that my head be loose. And of course, the target leg is swinging in this, in this instance and not fixed to the ground. So you have your three deadly don'ts. You have your six basics all included suplesse, coordination, rhythm, balance, weight shift and turn, all in this one exercise. Magnificent. Now, I would like to stress that the loose head is quite key to this exercise. Um, when you make the transition from the exercise to hitting the ball, just make sure that head, that neck, is still as loose as it is when you actually hit some shots. Um, 
for those that struggle with balance. Now this client, to begin with, he couldn't even keep his balance, never mind swing his leg properly. And within five minutes, he was, he was pretty much moving like I was just now. So stay, stay committed to it and you will, you will get there. But, but what I did to help him was I got him into the la dance position where the club's just in front of you and I got him to just swing the legs from there. And then from that movement, I got him to just continue and get the click off the swing right. And within minutes he was hitting he was hitting balls with this exercise and keeping his balance. It was quite incredible. Now I've got a, I've got a uh, rescue wood here and a nine iron. You know, nice to have a variety of clubs. I would suggest some of you may, may want to use a tee to make this exercise easier for the transition from this movement into hitting balls. So, you know, make it easy for yourself to begin with. So nice and loose in a dress. folks straight down the middle you might want to vary up your tempo a little bit 20% 20% effort 40% effort 60% effort just play around be childlike be curious exploring so let me try a, a slower swing See, I didn't quite lift the leg, so I didn't complete the exercise. Actually, I sense I'm not, my neck isn't loose enough, so I'm not moving my head enough. I'll just stress with the head and the eyes that, you know, some of my clients, they actually look completely away from the ball and still hit the ball. And sometimes I don't even mind that because they're turning better. And you don't actually need to be looking at the ball. But I'm not, I don't encourage them to look away. I encourage them to keep the ball in their peripheral vision, somewhere in the peripheral vision. So I can see the clubs here and the balls here in front of me and I can still see the camera. So it's like a soft gaze, not a fixed gaze on the ball. Soft gaze, neck loose, head loose, So again, just to summarize, let's start with La Dance and La Dance to Golf. And now swing the legs a bit. And now swing the club. Now you can bring the objective of getting the click in the right place with the swing caddy or the swing right, using the swinging legs exercise, so really capitalizing on all the, all the basic information that we give you at the easiest swing. This is not complicated, you'll see how consistent all my videos are, just helping to drum home the message to get these basics in place. That was better that click was just after the ball okay let's hit a few nine irons no 
not a great strike didn't complete the exercise and yes I'm gonna hit some thin shots some fat shots there's a lot of movement going on but I know that my unconscious brain is clever enough to know with a little bit of practice to know exactly where that ball is. In other sports, the ball moves, so we have to watch the ball. We have to be fixed on the ball. The ball spins and moves in cricket and tennis and hockey. In golf, the ball stays still. I don't need to engage my conscious brain. Think of it like driving a car. You know, when you first learn to drive, you maybe have to look at the gear stick or even Sometimes the brake pedal just to remind yourself where they are and after a week's practice you're already looking straight ahead and you know exactly where the gear stick is and how to maneuver it and you know where the foot pedals are. Same kind of thing folks, our unconscious brain can connect millions of bits of information in a split second, more powerful than any computer out there. We've just lost our um, trust, our belief and our appreciation for this amazing mechanism up here. Tiny bit thin right on the target. So as I say, more consistency, it just gets you into the slot because everything turns and gives space for the hands and the arms to move without fighting for positions. It creates a great leg work somehow. We, we, we use the legs and the feet and the weight correctly. Everything becomes coordinated with this backswing turn. Yeah, head loose. And then I can even just practice moving my head target bound as I complete the exercise. Always looking out for tension during the swing. Where are we trying to manipulate? Where are we trying to control? We don't want to control anything here. straight down the middle. What I sincerely love about this exercise is it gets me out of pos positional fixing. It gets me out of trying to get into the correct position, into conscious mind thinking, which is very limited. It just helps me to embrace the whole feeling of one movement. I see this as one movement. So movement is the key phrase here. It really helps us to get out of this conditioning uh, of the old template that's not doing any of us any favors whatsoever. So straight down the middle, a little bit more effort. And again, I'll just now finish with a, a normal shot to finish this video. But I hope this has given you uh, a better idea of how to do this exercise better. I might do another video shortly and really go into even more detail to help some of you. But um, let me know, let me know right in see how you get on, see if you are experiencing a massive transformation in your golf swing because of this very, very simple exercise. Okay, so you might even want to do it as a pre-shot routine on the tee, just to allow my swing to be influenced by the exercise. I think I got it. And it did, straight down the middle, lovely strike. Just by staying committed and persevering with this exercise and allowing it, allowing 
the movement to integrate into my swing when there's a ball in front of me. So thank you very much for watching. I really look forward to your comments and believe you me guys, this drill is the dog's bollocks. More distance, greater accuracy for your golf. Goodbye for now. Thank you.